on February 18th, 2021, the Perseverance rover did a one minute, 50 second skydive, followed by a powered final descent after cutting loose from its parachute and back shell. They went down hard. Now Perseverance has imaged the aftermath on this episode of Mars Guide. Perseverance has been driving around terrain too hazardous to drive over to get to the delta. Here's a stadium for scale. Now it's arrived at a spot where the parachute and back shell have come into view for the first time in the mission. They're just part of the complex landing system needed to land a one-ton rover safely on Mars. Parachutes alone have been landing spacecraft back on Earth since the dawn of the space age. This works because Earth has such a thick atmosphere. But the atmosphere of Mars is too thin, less than 1% the density of Earth's, to slow a spacecraft down to a safe speed. Using a parachute for part of this descent is still an efficient way to slow down before retro rockets finish the job. At 70 feet in diameter, about 21 meters, Perseverance had a parachute that was the biggest one yet sent to Mars, thanks to being the heaviest rover. About 180 pounds, over 80 kilos, of nylon, Kevlar, and Technora were compressed to the density of wood inside a canister at the top of the back shell and deployed explosively with a mortar. Here it is in super slow motion during a test on Earth. And here's the actual deployment on Mars in super slow motion from one of the upload cameras on the back shell. The pattern on the parachute is a code created by engineers at the Jet Propulsion Lab that spells out dare mighty things, a sort of motto for JPL, and also the coordinates of JPL in Southern California. The parachute slowed the spacecraft to about 200 miles per hour, about 320 kilometers per hour, after just under two minutes, and then it was cut away along with the back shell. Even without the load of the rover and its jetpack, the back shell hit the ground with enough force to make a spray of regolith and eject some pieces of hardware. Since this crash landing over a year ago, the spray has faded and the parachute has been folded by the wind. This would be easy to do on Earth, but it takes high-speed winds to create enough force in the thin Martian air to lift the heavy parachute. This also happened with the parachute of the Curiosity rover. On Sol 400, Perseverance arrived within view of its parachute and back shell, which is just visible enough in this navcam view that it could be targeted with the zoom lens of Mass Cam Z on the next Sol. The peak of the back shell is visible, looking noticeably red, presumably from dust. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The rest of it is hidden in a trough in the topography. The shape looks different now, probably because it was crushed during landing. The parachute is splayed out to the left. You can just make out a redder portion, but it also looks discolored from dust. These artifacts of Mars exploration will someday be viewed with the same awe and respect given to ships of Earth exploration, like the recently discovered century-old wreck of the Endurance sailed by Antarctic explorer Ernest Shackleton. Hopefully it won't take a century for humans to rediscover wrecks on Mars.